Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kana. This is Jar of Fireflies and here you will find videos all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of three. And today we're going through my morning routine. Okay, so I did a morning routine video a while back. I will link to that in the description below if you are interested in that. It was when I used to wake up really, really early and like go out and work out in the mornings and things like that. Well, life has changed, surprise. So I am now waking up closer to around 6 a.m and going about my morning from there. A lot of the same elements are still involved, but I wanted to do an updated morning routine to show you guys. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, so like I said, I've been waking up at about 6 a.m., so it's just after six and I'm getting out of bed and headed into the bathroom to brush my teeth. Yes, I, I gotta brush my teeth first thing in the morning. Same as my last video about my morning routine, that has definitely not changed. Now at this time of year, my husband is already at services. This does change throughout the year as the sunrise changes what time he's gone. But for now, I do have the house to myself and that is quite fantastic. Okay, after my teeth are brushed, I'm feeling a little bit more awake, but still quite tired, but I go into the closet and I go ahead and pick out some clothes to wear. Today, I'm choosing a long black skirt and just a very simple gray top, going for comfort more than anything else. You may also have noticed that I've changed my closet a little bit, how it's organized and what's in there since my last video. I'm really happy with the way things are now. But anyways, I get my clothes out of the closet and I go ahead and get dressed. I have taken a shower in the evening. That's kind of part of my evening routine now is to shower then so that when I wake up in the morning, I can really just get started with my day and not have to worry about you know that one more thing in the morning. Okay, before I come out of the bathroom in the morning, I always cover my hair. So today I'm wearing just a scarf and then I have underneath there already on my head when the camera was on me, um, just a little velvet headband and poof. So that just gives a little bit more body underneath my scarf and helps it to stay on all day and not slip around or fall off. Next, I grab my Ole Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream. This is my current favorite cream to wear during the day but I do always like to put some moisturizer on my face before I get out in the morning because if I don't do it now I will definitely not remember later on so I go ahead and just put that all over my face and for now that's pretty much the makeup routine I'm not wearing makeup right now because I'm just currently really happy with the way that my skin looks and I don't feel any need to put more makeup on at the moment uh, sometimes I will put on makeup for for a video that I'm filming especially if it's one where I'm just like talking to the camera a whole lot kind of right up in my face but for the most part I don't typically wear makeup I just put on a facial moisturizer I am adding a little bit of lip balm my lips are a little bit dry this morning so this is just a lip balm that I picked up in Colorado it's some little boutique shop so I apologize I don't know if it's something that you could get like online or anything like that but anyways I have a few different chapstick type things that I'll just put on there when I feel like I need it okay turning the bathroom light off and heading out of my bedroom and down the hall I always like to just peek in on my kids in the morning just to make sure that they're okay and you know all that jazz and then I just pull the doors closed so that any noise that I make in the morning doesn't wake them up and that when I let the dog out of her kennel that she's not going to like run back there and jump on their beds and wake them up earlier than they would like. My kids get to sleep in as late as they would like and I like them to sleep as late as they would like. <laughs> So after I have closed those doors as quietly as I can, I head over towards the kitchen, which is on the other side of the house. I don't typically turn on lights in the morning. However, for the sake of this video, I went ahead and turned on the kitchen lights just so we'd have a little bit more lights to make the video a little bit more pleasant for you guys to watch. The camera quality is definitely better with the lights on. Okay, so now I'm starting my morning hand washing ritual. It's We call it Natilatia Dayam and is where we wash our hands in a ritual manner of three times on each hand alternating and then we say a blessing for this hand washing. 
We all start our morning this way as Orthodox Jews. It's really important that we do this hand washing as close to as soon as we wake up as possible. Some people will even have a hand washing cup right next to their beds. I do not do this. I wait till I'm dressed and ready and come out to the kitchen and do it. It's just my personal choice. Okay, now I'm getting started on my tea. I'm just going to go ahead and turn the kettle on and now I'm gonna go and let our dog Bella out of her kennel. So I opened my dog's kennel gate there and she really seemed more interested in just kind of sleeping still. <laughs> she really enjoys hanging out in her kennel. But when she saw me slip my sandals on, she was ready to get up and get going. So we went outside together. I wanted her to go outside, do her business, and I wanted to go out and check on my garden. Now, the night before we had had a storm, so I wanted to kind of see how things were looking out here. Side note, I'm laughing at the sleep lines on the side of my face right now. But anyways, back to the garden. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm just kind of looking around. Everything really seemed fine. We didn't get the hail that they were talking about, but um, I tried to cover some of the garden in case there was hail. So I spent a few minutes pulling those little tables off and those pots off that I had used to protect these new seedlings that I had just transplanted and, and things like that. So just kind of spending a couple of minutes putzing around the garden. I like to spend a couple of minutes every morning in the garden, whether it's just looking at it or whether it's pulling a weed or two, but just something, just being there in the morning while it's really quiet. It's just a really nice way to start my day. And one of these days I will make the whole garden look prettier, but not today. <laughs> That's going to be a summer project for me, I think, trying to make some cute walkways and things like that but eventually it'll look really pretty. Okay, so once I was done with all that, I latched my little makeshift latch there to keep bunnies and Bella out of the garden and made my way back inside. Bella decided to stay outside, she usually does. She loves to hang out in the backyard and like chew on our firewood and stuff like that. But I wanted to get back inside to my tea kettle and my cup of tea, which was going to be hopefully ready by this point. Because of all the rain and mud and all of that stuff outside, I did slip my shoes off as soon as I got back indoors, which y'all know I don't like to wear shoes inside anyways or really anywhere. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just slipped those off and left those by the back door and uh, had made my way back into the kitchen. And by this point, my tea kettle was steaming and I knew that it was ready. So I turned the burner off and got my little tea packet and put that in my teacup and then poured on some hot water. I really love my morning cup of tea and it's more than just the actual drinking of the tea. It's really the whole process of making the tea and, you know, heating the water and just everything about it. I, it's, it's, it's a really important part of my morning. Okay, so while that tea was steeping, I went and I got my Sidor, my prayer book, and I brought that back in to the kitchen table so that I could do my morning davening, my morning praying in there. I went ahead and brought my teacup over there next to me, even though I wasn't planning to drink it until after I finished with my morning prayers. I just brought it over there because, you know, like I said, it's about the process. I do get asked a lot of questions about what prayers I say in the morning. So when I wake up, before I even get out of bed, I recite a very short prayer called Mode Ani. And then as I wash my hands, I make that morning hand washing blessing. And then I say the blessing that you say after the bathroom. Okay, but now that I'm here sitting down at the table with my Sidor, my prayer book in front of me, I get started on the morning blessings. And then once I finish with the morning blessings, I get started on the Torah blessings, and then I move on to the Shema, and then the Amidah, which is also called the Shemona Esrei. So everything except for the Amidah, I can say while I'm sitting down, but the Amidah, I need to say while I am standing up. And throughout the Amidah, there are various points where I will bow. So um, there's just a little bit more to this one than the other ones where I can sit down. But generally, this particular prayer takes me about, I'd say maybe seven or eight minutes to say, um, if I'm just kind of going through it at like a normal rate. If I'm taking time to like really, really focus on everything, it can take a lot longer. But typically for me, it's taking me around seven minutes or so to say. All of my davening in the morning takes me 
between maybe 15 and 20 minutes to say. It's not something that takes a terribly huge time commitment from myself every day, but it's really important. And I always feel good when I start my day with this because I started it with what I feel is an important focus of my day, which is my relationship with God. Okay, so once I am done with all of my morning prayers, I go into my tea. It's best not to have any food or drink before you have said these prayers. So um, that is part of the reason there while I am waiting. But also it happened to be that my tea was the perfect temperature at this point. So once that was done, I went around the house and started opening windows. It was a lovely, cool morning. And whenever it is a nice morning, I always like to open the windows. I love to have the blinds open, even if I'm not opening the windows themselves and letting the fresh air in. But any chance I have to let the fresh air in, I always do that because Oh, I just love that fresh air and like a little breeze going through the house and things like that. It just, oh, it makes me so happy. And we've been having a very lovely spring here. So I'm, I'm taking advantage of this before our Texas summers come and it's too hot to open the house. And as you can see, these other lights in the house are not on and I will leave them off really all day. You know, with the light from the windows, that's really what I prefer is just that natural light. So I like to have all of that going on before the kids wake up because once the kids come out, if it's too dark, they'll start turning on all the lights. And then I feel like the battle is lost already for the day. So at this point, I turned around, I saw the dog uh, needed to have some fresh water. She'd gotten that a little bit dirty. So I went ahead and grabbed her water bowl, washed it out a little bit, just rinsed it and refilled it to bring back to her. I also, once I got back and dropped that food bowl off, I got her some dog food as well. She always has a bowl of dog food there in the morning, which she tends to kind of nurse throughout the day. But if she needs more later, we'll do that later. But there she is just laying. Like I said, she enjoys just hanging out in her kennel. So she's just hanging out in there, even though her little gate is open and she is welcome to come and go as she please. Well, after I fed her, I did go into the kitchen and wash my hands. Dog food is, well, not kosher. So before I go touching any food in the kitchen or anything, making breakfast for the kids later, I wanted to make sure that I had any dog food crumbs off of my hands so that that doesn't get into any food that I am preparing. Then I had one more dish to put away from last night. It was just a cutting board that was drying overnight. Put that away and now I am washing my teacup. I stayed up last, late last night cleaning the kitchen. It's how I prefer to go to bed is with a clean kitchen. So obviously it doesn't always happen if someone else is up later than me, but if I'm up the latest, I for sure like to clean the kitchen. And cleaning the teacup now here in the morning is kind of my way of staying on top of things for as long as I can throughout the day. And that's just, that's just how I like to do things. So I dried my hands and then I walked over. I had a few ingredients that I had laid out the night before to get started on some dinner for this evening. I knew that we were having some friends over later for dinner and I knew that I wanted to make a bolognese sauce. So I pulled out the other ingredients that I needed and just got to work chopping vegetables, some carrots and an onion to put into that bolognese sauce and just get that going because that was going to be simmering all morning while we were doing school and other things throughout our morning so that that would be ready to just reheat for dinner tonight because you can totally do that with spaghetti sauce. I did go over this recipe in a different video so I'm not going to talk about exactly how I cooked it here but I will try to find that video and link to it in the description box below. Okay so while that was starting to simmer with those first ingredients there that needed to kind of simmer for about 20-30 minutes I went into my study, my sewing room, my craft room, whatever you want to call this glorious space that I call my own and I grabbed my planner where I have written out basically our lesson plans for the day for the kids. So using those lesson plans as a guide, which I wrote out previously when I planned my week, I can pull all of the books and get things together, any supplies that we might need for the kids to do their school. I like to have all of this set up and ready to go before they wake up because once they wake up, I start getting busy, getting them breakfast, getting about their day. And when we're ready to start school, I wanna be able to just get right into it. I don't wanna be like, okay, you sit here while I go gather these books or you know, we, we find one book and we read it and then we go to 
the next thing and you know they've lost interest while I'm trying to find the next thing so for me it just works really well to just gather these things either the night before or the morning of it just kind of depends on how I'm feeling that night but for this particular day at least I'm doing it here in the morning and I always like to look at my planner regardless in the morning whether it's to make sure I've got lesson plan stuff all set up or if it's just to see what's going on in my day because I just I want to have a good idea of my day as it's getting started so I can like mental note to myself okay you know we said we were gonna meet friends at the park here or so and so has an appointment here or whatever it may be I just want to make sure that I'm not gonna forget anything that we have committed to during the day so I always double check my planner there as well After the time had come for me to go back in and check on that bolognese sauce, I went and gave it a little stir and grabbed the next ingredient that I needed to add, which was some soy milk. And then I poured that in and then that was just going to sit there and simmer for a little while longer, I think another 20 or 30 minutes. This is such an easy recipe to make and it's really easy to do when I know I'm gonna be home all morning because I just have to kind of pop back into it a little bit here and there. So got that added in, gave it a little stir and now that can just literally sit there while I deal with other things like my kids so my youngest son had woken up here at this point and he wanted to have cereal for breakfast and this particular morning that is fine by me sometimes I make them a nicer breakfast but sometimes it's just cereal and today was one of those days so he wanted Cheerios so I got him set up at the table there and got him a bowl and everything and just kind of started getting things ready and then my older son also woke up so it was you know what color bowl do you want and how many cheerios and do you want milk and you know all of those questions so that i could get them the breakfast that they wanted my kids and i were chatting just a little bit and there were like a few reminders there while i was getting breakfast ready you know my son my older son with his diabetes he needed to go get his pdm so that i could give him insulin and you know things like that and reminding my kids to wash their hands in the morning because they also do the hand washing there in the morning but you know once we kind of got settled enough i got their breakfast on the table i poured milk for my toddler because he was ready to eat right then but my older son had gone off to i can't remember do something get something so i let the milk sit on the table so that he could pour his milk when he was ready and and then i'm, I'm sitting here while i'm filming i'm trying to this i remember i'm trying to encourage my toddler to start eating so that his cereal doesn't get soggy but he was much more interested in his little lego tractor there so anyhow my older son came out poured his milk and he got started on his breakfast as well after breakfast we decided to dive right into school with my older son so I grabbed the books that we needed for him and we went over to his bedroom because he wanted to play with his Legos while we were doing his school so we started with his history book and he was just playing with Legos and I would read and then I would ask him questions and have him narrate back to me just to make sure that he was catching what I was saying that he understood the information and, and all of that while we were going through this it was a super interesting morning because we got into Martin Luther's um, ideas and kind of dove into the basics of Christianity there a little bit, which we hadn't really touched on a whole lot yet, but I feel that it's an important context for history. So after we finished with our history, we came out to the kitchen. All the kids were awake by now and they all wanted to sit and play Legos together in the kitchen. So I brought our book out to the kitchen. Just It was our liter literature selection for the week and I was reading a couple chapters of that there while they play Legos. Again, I was asking questions and asking for my son to narrate back to me just to make sure that he was getting everything that I was saying about this book. It was really fun for me to watch the kids all sitting there playing together. I always enjoy that. So it was mid to late morning now, so the kids had a small snack and I tended to the bolognese sauce a little bit before going into my study again with my daughter to work on her school and just get that done. Her school is very short, only takes about 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, so with school wrapped up for the morning, we're all done with our curriculum stuff. We can move on into the afternoon. It's a little bit after 11 o'clock right now, and I'm gonna start putting together some lunch so that we can head out to a park and have a picnic and spend the day playing in the woods. So that's kind of the end of our morning routine, but I would say this is a very typical morning routine for me here lately. 
that waking up at 6 a.m., kind of doing my stuff quietly, and then when the kids come out, breakfast and getting started on school. It's really working for us right now, and no doubt this will change again, just like it has changed from my last morning video, but that's life. Life evolves. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that like button. It lets me know what kinds of videos you guys like to see and it helps my channel out a lot. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, if you guys are still watching now, you are one of the cool kids. You have made it all the way to the end of the video. Thank you, I greatly appreciate that. All right, you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next upload.